Erica, I would like to do a trick for you where I spread the cards out in front of you like this, and you pick any card you want. Any card. Okay. Any selection you want at all. Anywhere in the deck. I'm going to square up the cards. Don't let me see it, but show it to the audience if you would. Okay. All right, carefully sneak that card on the top of the deck so I can't see it. And give the pack a simple cut and replace, replace it. Okay, if you could cut them at a different depth, I'd appreciate that. Okay, so you'd have, any reasonable person would say that that's a fairly straightforward, uh, fair process. Right. It would be extremely difficult for me to, under those circumstances, to be able to identify your card, correct? Right. So I'm going to give these cards a couple of shuffles. Okay. And I have to admit that sometimes I shuffle them so well that it's difficult for me to find the card. But we're going to try here, see if we can do this, kind of shuffle them together in this fashion. Fair enough? Fair enough. And a lot of people like to see a final cut, so I'm going to give them a final cut like that. Do you see your card anywhere near the bottom of the deck here? No. No. Well, you did touch the card. I did. So you probably left your fingerprints on it. Could you hold your <laughs> hand out for me like that? I'm going to reflect the cards in the light like this. Okay. And pretty soon, I don't see any fingerprints on the nine of uh, clubs. But eventually, I'm going to spot the card that has your fingerprints on it. No fingerprints on the six of diamonds. And reflect, see how I reflect them in the light like that? Mm -hmm. No fingerprints on the six of hearts. But you know, I knew I was close to your card, Erica, because I see a fingerprint on the back of this card. That card was the Jack of Hearts, correct? No. No? <laughs> no. It wasn't your card. What, which card was yours? The Six of Hearts. The Six of Hearts? Uh-huh. I see you have to pay attention. 